Good afternoon, Hattiesburg. Thanks for joining us for this COVID-19 and City News Briefing for Friday, May 21st. We'll start with some numbers for today. These are system-wide numbers for Forest General and Merritt Health Wesley. As of this morning, we had 14 people system-wide who were COVID positive. That's between both hospitals. And of those 14, we had three in the ICU. As you can see, we've been in this low double digits, high single digits in hospitalizations for some time. I think the two things really to mention on this is, first of all, hospitalizations are totally preventable if people will get their COVID vaccine. That's one thing that we need to keep encouraging um, our friends, families, church members. Um, this vaccine is safe and it prevents severe illness and hospitalization in almost everyone who gets it. The other thing is that even though COVID-related hospitalizations are low, we also saw kind of a spike in overall hospitalizations this week. And we were on our COVID call on Wednesday, and we kind of asked the question, why is that? And uh, for many people, it is missing healthcare appointments with their doctors, missing checkups, uh, not going and getting those, uh, those routine lab tests that need to be done to kind of monitor cholesterol and things like that. And so a lot of that delayed healthcare has now led people uh, to get sick and go into, go into the hospital. So that's, that's our encouragement to you is to make sure that you're doing those routine things that you, your physician has recommended. Statewide today, 105 new cases were reported, uh, one new death. New positive cases today, Forest County had five, Lamar County had two. And since this began, Forest County has seen 7,732 total infections. Lamar County has seen 6,266. Five-day average for some time now, we've been in the single digits, which is a good uh, trend to continue. We hope that uh, that doesn't go up. The, the average age has, has been coming down, so we're seeing a lot of our new cases in those younger unvaccinated populations. The inside 14-day number is the number of people who have received their positive test result in the last two weeks. It gives you a, an idea of how many active cases we could have in our community. Right now, that number stands at 83 in Forest County and 47 in Lamar County. Um, this is up slightly from over last week, uh, but still in that, that low 100s uh, range. And uh, if it goes above that, we'll, we'll make sure that we let you know. Uh, but so far, as people get vaccinated, uh, we're not. We're kind of keeping that the, those inside 14-day numbers at bay. Uh, compared to a week ago, uh, Forest County is up 14 in terms of those potential active cases. Lamar County is up by two, so increase of 16 in the metro area since last Friday. Hospitalizations up by four there. Uh, ICU uh, went from two to three. Our goals continue to be protecting the vulnerable, preventing the overrun of the healthcare system, and continuing to prioritize public health while allowing the private sector to continue operating. Uh, at full speed. Uh, of course, last Saturday we let the mask mandate expire, and one thing that we have noticed is that several businesses and even churches and other organizations are continuing to require masks for people who come in. That's okay. That's their right to do that. Some people are choosing to continue wearing masks on their own because it makes them feel safe or uh, because they are still vulnerable or have someone in their household that is vulnerable. Either way, uh, we have to make allowances and we have to encourage people to do what is best for them and to encourage businesses to do what is best for them. And so our message is be kind and be considerate of those who continue wearing masks uh, to protect themselves or their employees. Uh, and if you could help us do that, we're going to continue navigating through this thing together. Uh, speaking of vaccinations, uh, just an update on kind of where we stand as uh, our two counties. 23% uh, of Forest County is now fully vaccinated with another 3% that has received at least one dose. And in Lamar County, that number is 34% uh, fully vaccinated, another 4% have received one dose. So Lamar County is getting close to 40% of the total population um, being vaccinated. There's an opportunity tomorrow, if you are in the Hattiesburg area, Antioch Baptist Church is hosting a vaccination drive from 10 to 2. It'll be the Pfizer vaccine. The Department of Health will be administering those. Uh, Antioch Baptist Church is located at 1100 John Street. Uh, they have 90 doses, but there's you don't have to sign up or anything. You can just show up at Antioch Baptist Church from 10 to 2. We appreciate Bishop Brown and his congregation hosting that uh, for that area. Some city news for you. Uh, this week we officially opened the newest half mile of the Duncan Lake Trail. This one actually extends all the way to Alcorn Avenue and then cuts in to the back side of the lake all the way around. It's got a really rich ecosystem there. Uh, one of the few public sand hill environments that we have in Mississippi. Uh, this costs over $300,000 with $120,000 paid for by a grant from the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fishers, and Parks, for which we uh, thank that agency, but also our state delegation, including Representative Percy Watson and Representative Missy McGee, for their help in getting that grant. If you haven't been to Duncan Lake, it's a 17-acre lake just southeast of downtown. It, it's one of the um, 
there's all kinds of fish and ducks and, and other um, animals and, and plant life there, and you really should check it out and take the family. Um, there are picnic areas, and uh, it's just a really good time for all. Uh, road closure that is continuing this week. Uh, we, have, we are still continuing to pave Hardy Street. That, that road is passable, but we are closing one lane at a time to try and get that done. Um, this Hardy Street repaving was made possible uh, partly by some BP money that our state delegation got in 2018. Uh, but this will be from 21st Avenue down to near West Pine Street. We also uh, saw the Hattiesburg Zoo open the newest Africa exhibit last weekend, which included two of our newest, most notable residents, uh, Sue Ellen and Baby Alberta, our two new giraffes. Uh, if you have not taken your family there, it's another great weekend to get out and, uh, and see it. If you come to the zoo this weekend, make sure you take, go in through 16th Avenue because we're still doing work from 17th or through Con Park. Uh, Live at Five continues tonight. This is a makeup performance from one of the rainouts in April. Uh, the Royal Horses will be playing at Town Square Park, so get there at 5 o'clock. The weather's beautiful today, and I know it'll be a great time for all. Also, tomorrow is the Downtown Crawfish Jam. Uh, you will not be able to purchase tickets at the gate. You're going to need to buy those online, and today is the last day to buy tickets online. And you can do that at dcjhberg.com. It's dcjhberg.com. Uh, Downtown Crawfish Jam returns in 2021 tomorrow, but you will not be able to buy tickets at the gate. And finally, your act of courage. Uh, Monday, May 31st, which is just over a week from now, uh, we'll be having Memorial Day. Memorial Day is one of the two times per year that we use Veterans Park. Uh, it is a very somber occasion where we remember the 173 men who gave their lives in defense of our nation's freedom. I encourage you to make plans for that Memorial Day ceremony at 10 a.m. Monday, May 31st. Uh, please don't treat Memorial Day like a three-day weekend. Uh, there are a lot of families, there are still Gold Star families among us, who lost someone going to war. And this is our opportunity to honor them, to think about them, to remember their sacrifice, and to say thank you in our own way. As we go into the weekend, remember to wash your hands, take care of yourself, wear a mask if you go out in public. Most of all, be kind. Have a great weekend.